Warning. Pussies, bitch-ass liberals, and the whole goddamn Democratic Party will not even make it through this intro. Please, just fuck off now. And if you're not a fucking dickless little fucking crybaby-ass little fucking bitch... What's up, motherfuckers? Wishing you folks a gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever in the world you motherfuckers may be. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. I fuck appreciate that goddamn shit. Listen, okay, pay attention. If anything I say on this channel offends you, you know what I want you to do? I want you to call up your parents and I want you to be mad at them for raising such a bitch-made little fucking pussy. That's what I want you to do. That's who I want you to be mad at. But today... Oh, this is a big episode. I'm going to show you motherfuckers some despicable pieces of fucking shit today. These motherfuckers had my blood pressure up today. I usually don't get like that watching videos. But before we even get into that shit, you know what the fuck we're going to do over here. We're going to tell some jokes. I got motherfucking jokes over this bitch that are so fucking dark the police shoot at them. Okay? I got jokes like that over here. So we're going to make fun of some cops. We're going to make fun of some fucking retards. Hopefully, I can introduce you folks to a channel that you hadn't yet seen before. And hopefully, we can learn something from the interaction that are highlighted in this channel. Now, before we kick off all this unspeakable, vile, fucking flagrant bullshit that I'm going to show you in these three videos, pay attention, ladies. This one's for you, okay? I'm sitting down. I'm smoking up with my neighbor, right? She asked me a question today. She says, Mike, what are some things that, like, guys fucking hate about women that they never tell women? And I thought, that's a fucking great question. So rather than just telling her, maybe there's some of you ladies out there that are wondering the same thing. So I'll fill you in on it, okay? Hey, hold on, I'm going to put my drink down for this one. These are things that we hate, ladies, that we'll never fucking tell you. We'll never be honest with you about, but these are the things we hate. Check this out. Number one, if we're sitting down playing fucking video games or we're sitting down watching a football game or TV or whatever, leave us the fuck alone. We're not mad at you. It's not that we don't want to talk to you. We're trying to fucking decompress. There are things that men deal with that women will never fucking understand. That women will never fucking get. Men wrestle with fucking inner demons that we don't ever fucking tell anybody about. Not anybody. Not our parents. Not anybody. Not the closest people to us. We don't say a fucking word. Because in our heads, we feel it shows weakness. Don't ask us fucking questions that require answers while we're playing video games or we're watching TV, bitch. No, I can't fucking multitask. As a matter of fact, this is how little I can multitask. For the last fucking 50 years, I've put my pants on the same exact weight every single day. I put my right leg in first. Let's say hypothetically, I wake up tomorrow morning and I go to put my pants on and instead of putting my right leg in first, I put my goddamn left leg in first. You know what's going to happen? Not only am I just going to fall the fuck over, it's going to fuck up my whole goddamn day. That little fucking change fucked my whole goddamn day up. I'm not even, I'm probably not going to be able to sleep that night now because that little thing fucked my whole goddamn day up. That's number one. We're not mad at you. We're not upset with you. Just fucking leave us alone. You'll know when we want to talk. That's number one. Number two, this is important. Stop asking us. Even though you ask playfully like, <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> Would you fuck my friend Becky? I like. I'm just like totally curious if you would fuck my friend. Be I won't get mad. You could just. You could be honest. I won't. I won't get mad. Yeah, you will, bitch. We're not fucking stupid. But just know, men are always gonna say no. We won't fuck your friend, and we'll come up with some cockamamie fucking reason for why we won't do it. Just know that that is a lie. If you want to know if we will fuck your friend, just know that the answer is always yes. Ninety percent of men will literally fuck the couch. If we can figure out how to get the pillows positioned just right, we will fuck the couch. Don't ask us if we if, if we would ever fuck your friend. Don't ask us that fucking dumb shit. We don't give a fuck if Becky is missing a leg or an arm or a fucking couple teeth. We don't give a fuck. We'll do it. Just know the answer is yes. Fuck off and leave us alone. Speaking of sex, that brings me to my next thing. Here's another goddamn thing that's so annoying. Ladies, hand jobs. Okay, hand jobs. What are we fucking? What are we role playing? A priest in an altar boy? Are we role playing a fucking little kid's first cub scout outing in the fucking woods? Is that what we're doing? We role playing shit like that? 
Are we fucking role playing? No. I'm almost 50 years old, bitch. You can't do this better than I can. I promise you. I promise you. Put that goddamn thing in your mouth and fucking choke on it. I would choke on that motherfucker. That's what we want. And then there's women that think, oh, he's just being playful. He just wants me to kiss his belly like he's a fucking canine. And then you got guys like me that are sitting there like this, right? Get your fucking head What the fuck? No. We don't want our fucking belly rubbed, bitch. Put that goddamn thing in your mouth and suck it so good that the bed sheets are stuck up my asshole when you're done with it. That's what the fuck we want. Hand jobs. What are we, fucking 14 years old? We in fucking middle school? Here's another thing. I don't know if it's the fucking psych meds that all you women take. I don't know why you take them, but I can say this. Looking back over my lifetime, I don't think I can say I've ever known, met, dated, hooked up with one single female it wasn't on psychiatric medications. Not one. So I don't know what it is about that that makes you fucking cold all the time. But please, listen. When it's 90 fucking degrees outside, we're not fucking shutting the air conditioner off in the car, okay? Because you're cold. I work hard for that car. I worked so goddamn hard, I made sure to buy one that had an air conditioner in it. So when it was 90 degrees, I was able to sit comfortably. I would rather open up my door and tuck and roll your fucking ass out into the goddamn highway before I shut the air conditioner off. Bring a fucking cardigan or a jacket or something with you. This brings me to my very last one. Putting your fucking hand in our goddamn food and taking food off of our fucking plate. All women do this. All women do it. And all men fucking hate it. This is what you do. <laughs> I got your french fries. I I got your french fries. I'm going to get some more french fries. I'm going to get some more french fries. I'm going to get some more french fries. Every one of you women who have done this before has had a man where you took something off of his plate and for that one second, your man stopped. He just stopped. Just for that one second. He didn't say anything. He didn't show any signs of aggression or anger or irritation. But do you want to know why he stopped for that one second? For that one second, you want to know why he stopped? It was because he was about to flip the fucking table over. Just, you, you wanted french fries, bitch? That's why he did. He was about to flip the table over, but he took fucking two seconds to think about it again and said, you know what? Just get a bitch a fucking french fry, this mother. <laughs> As you motherfuckers know what time it is, I got these three videos. These are going to fucking blow your mind, right? The first one, okay? This is about a corrupted, scumbag, piece of shit, fucking cock-sucking, civil rights violating fucking judge who just decides, you know what? The Second Amendment doesn't exist anymore. And this happened in Texas. In Texas, of all places. Texas. The second video comes from my motherfucking dude. He, he's probably one of my favorite channels. This is the Tennessee Watchdog. The very last video, Gorilla Publishing. Uh, that being said, you motherfuckers know what time it is. I don't give a fuck over this bitch. This is where the fucking Americans hang out. This is where the fucking patriots hang out. This is where the fucking gun owners hang out. They hang out over here. So if that's you, you already fucking know what time it is, man. Pour your motherfucking drinks. Let's bust up some weed. Put some motherfucking gas in the air and get right into these videos. Cody, high rollers. Show us what happened to this better in my dude. Let's fucking go. What's going on, everybody? Got some troubling news here. Your rights are being infringed on big time. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has recently ruled that if somebody is alarmed by the presence of you carrying a firearm, which is your legal right, open carry Texas, that law has already been established, that now a police officer can come arrest you just for open carrying and protesting. The judge that made that ruling, let's put his picture up full mass. This man just infringed on everybody's civil rights. Because now, if you open carry and somebody calls and says they're alarmed by it, they can take you to jail, as well as protesting. In my opinion, this judge needs to be removed. This is a clear infringement on your First and Second Amendment rights. 
Now, I'm going to show you guys the video of what happened, and I'm going to leave a link to the full judgment in the description. Be sure y'all check that out and read it yourself because the mainstream media won't cover this, so I will. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's show the video. You might hey, want to put your gun listen. away. I spoke to your chief yesterday. Hey, tell him. Hey, well, well, keep, keep. You're committing a felony right now, officer. You are convict. You are committing a felony. That is an armed terrorist threat. This is almost park, guys. Almost park. Once again. Once again, almost park. Why you got an AR-15 out? Get away from him. Articulate the law are broken and I will... I am. Okay. Are you here to hurt anybody? Negative. Do you have a gun as well? Of course I do. Okay. Get away then. Now, Articulate what crime is being committed here? I will get down. What crime is being committed here? So you got an AR-15 in hand because a man is lawfully carrying. This guy over here has got a pistol because he's lawfully carrying. How you doing? Oh, these cops are uh, overreacting to a man lawfully carrying a firearm. We told you guys you were going to learn. Today's your education. Today's your education, Corporal. At some point, you're going to realize no crime is being committed. In the state of Texas, only, only... This guy's got an AR-15 in his hand right now. Can the House and Senate pass any law that pertains to the penal code? Here, I'm going to... Which means open care of mine just in case. Zero eight, no subdivision of the law can pass any criminal law. Which means any law that you may have enacted. How y'all doing? In, in, in your city. We're just teaching your cops a lesson right now. About lawful activity. Does not make it illegal to carry They're learning firearm. about the Second Amendment today. Or a loaded firearm. What's that? Firearm. Yes, ma'am. Now, folks, how come a lady on the side of the road knows more about the right to bear arms than the police do that are supposedly trained in law enforcement? Well, that's because, folks, it's totally fake. These people are not for you. They are not for the people that pay their salary. They're there to keep the extortion scheme in place and keep the tyrannical government in power. They have no respect for you or your rights and neither does the judge. Is holding gunpoint to a U.S. Army veteran. You got a gun in your hand too? To Iraq, who has never committed a crime in his life, who is doing nothing illegal, and you have three officers holding me at gunpoint because I have not committed a crime. No, this is almost Park outside of San Antonio. Are you starting to feel dumb yet? Are you Renee? Are you the chief? Are you the chief? No, this guy back here. Are you the chief? Yeah, there's a man with a gun right there. You're the only one threatening people. You're the only one threatening people, officer. You're the only one. You already asked if I was going to be violent. I am not. I am not going to shoot anyone. I am not a terrorist. Are you the police chief? I am an American citizen. Are you the police chief? I'm on the ground or disarm myself for not committing a crime. Are you the police chief? No, we're not getting on the ground. We're not getting on the ground. I'm going to tell you one more time to get on the ground. I'm not going to tell you again. For what? What crime? If you have a license to carry a rifle. He doesn't need a license to carry a rifle. If you harm me, we're not committing a crime. You can get away from him. What crime are we committing? You're interfering with the duties right now. Well, you have no duty to disarm a law-abiding citizen. 
Get down, sir. I'm not doing anything Get against on the, the ground. Hey, look, man. I'm Get. not doing anything. I am not doing No! All right, guys, I'm going to take you over to a second video of what just transpired. But for those of you who may not know CJ, I know a lot of people from other states and other countries watch these videos. Uh, CJ Grisham is a 21-year military veteran in the U.S. Army who has retired as a first sergeant and has now achieved his law degree and is a civil rights attorney. And uh, if they can violate this man's rights the way they just did, then they can violate yours. I was unable to find any military experience for the judge who ruled that you no longer have a right to carry your gun and you no longer have a right to protest. So you got judges who do not care about your rights whatsoever making decisions on them. But here's the second video, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you think I'm getting it wrong. What's your name? What's your ID? What is your name? Hey, hey, hey! Officer! Hey, get your hands off him! Get your hands off him! Get your hands off him! <laughs> hey! Get back! Get oh, fuck back. There's no law, bro! Fucking criminal! Fucking criminal! You threw his camera! Chief, you and I spoke. You and I spoke on the phone, Chief. Oh! That's right. He tased him. And Chief, you know damn well because you and I spoke on the phone. You and I spoke on the phone, Chief, so you're doing this. For that, for that guy that's bleeding. CJ's been hit in the head. He's bleeding. Oh, and what are you arresting me for? What are you arresting me for? What are you arresting me for? That man needs medical attention, Chief. Earning the hate. Earning the hate. Beating on citizens who haven't broken the law. This is all lawful activity. Not one single law broken here. Except by you. And guys, that was a 21-year military veteran. You just seen being hauled off in the back of a cop car to jail for doing nothing but simply open carrying his gun, which is his legal right to do. Now, I have talked to CJ about this. He still has a chance to win the Supreme Court. But as it stands now, the Fifth Circuit Court ruled that we no longer have a right to open carry or protest, unfortunate as that is. Now, I have spoke to CJ about this, 
and it's going to cost him $12,000 to fight this in the Supreme Court. And this is how the system wins, folks, is they drag it out, they drag it out, they run you dry on money, and then they have some judge make a horrible unconstitutional ruling stripping you of your freedoms. But I'm going to leave a link to his PayPal and other information in the description. If you guys want to help him and help all of us be able to keep our rights here, folks, because this is a clear infringement. Um, yeah, I was asking Daddy for help, and I see this guy searching a vehicle, so I'm just going to record this and before we go in there. Oh, I, I'm not recording the minor. Okay, can you please go that way for me? Is that lawful? Is that a lawful order? Yes, please. Are you going to go ahead and continue doing what you're doing? I'm... Sir, this is a school issue that's going on. Will you please go to the front of the building to deal with what you need to deal with? What's your name? Your badge Hi. number? Yeah. Deputy McGrail. You got a badge number? 2180. Thank you. I like that calling. I was just trying to really find out where I was at. And I don't know what I creeped up on, but it's like they have a problem since there's a camera out here. Uh, tell me I can't record. This is a. Hey, this is a public parking lot, correct? A public building? Correct? This is school property. So this is not a public building? This is not a public. Man, this is public. This is a public. This is a public parking lot, man. You can't force me to leave. This is police action. You cannot force me to leave, man. What's your name? And your badge number, sir? Richard Bennett, 1877. Thank you. Um, there's students at the school. You're not supposed to be filming, man. I'm not. Film, I'm not filming no students, sir. I'm filming the law official and that gentleman that's inside that vehicle searching. It. That's all I'm filming. And I'm well within my rights to do that. Thank you.
can't tell me anything, man. That's one thing about it. I'm a member of the club, and you can't tell me nothing. I don't work for you. Y'all work for me. <laughs> tell me she told me. You can't tell me nothing. You work for me. I don't work for you. I don't work for the public. And what's your name and your badge number, sir? It's not a deputy. He is a school principal. Okay, it's Chief there. Never seen a school principal searching a car before. Wow, that's crazy. They must be doing something crooked, y'all. Look, they stop what they're doing. All because of a camera. <laughs> yeah. Walk of shame. The walk of shame, y'all. Yeah. She told me who you talking to, lady. Like, I don't work for you. You work for the public. You're a sheriff's officer. Alright y'all, we're gonna put on hold what I got going. We're just gonna wait right here. And we're just gonna see what see what we got going. Matter of fact, we can get on the sidewalk. It's even better. You work for the public, correct? I work for the sheriff's office, yes, that's correct. You work for the public, correct? I work for the sheriff's office, yes, that's You work correct. for the public, correct? Where's your supervisor at? My supervisor? Correct. I have multiple supervisors. Well, get your supervisor out here, why don't you? That's what I'm working on. Thank you. Oh, it's, um, it's okay. No, I understand I'm you was in the wrong. I'm and I, and, I, and so YouTube is going to love was, to hear it as well. It was occurred to me, or well, it was told to me that because this is public property with a school on it, that you are fine. And we removed ourselves, we brought ourselves in. But if this had been a school and school property, then you wouldn't been. So I Well, if it was school and school property, I wouldn't be there. I'm a grown man trying to take care of some official business. I understand. Thank you. I apologize. For I, that. I greatly appreciate for your that. official business. I'm not going to put your official business out of record because that's your official business. If you just want to follow the sidewalk around, they will be more than willing to help you. Uh, I got time. I'm just going to stand right here for a little while. Okay. Happy that she did apologize, y'all, but it's still the, the, the fact of it. She's trying to say she told me and all this other stuff, so you can't tell me nothing. I'm a member of the public, and we don't get their tag numbers now because I think it's some tyranny going on here. And it's County 2243 GG. Don't get his tag number as well, even though he's all right, opposite with me. Child abuse, prevention, man. All right, y'all have a good one. I will be right back. 7097GH. All right, y'all, we're going to continue. We're going to stop this recording.
report um, that this was an open meeting for the fire marshals, and they limited it to 49, 49, but half of those 49 were employees, so only half of those were really the community was allowed. So all these people are being denied the ability to attend a public meeting. It's a, it's a violation. So I need to file a report. Okay, what do you what do you do? What what do you have to do with? with I'm a work? I'm an Oklahoma citizen that pays taxes. Okay. And I need to file a report because all these people are being denied access. Okay. I'll talk to you in just a second. Okay. All right. Let's go talk. Yeah. Um. This. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Hey, I I'm gonna. Um, come in here. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 I signed up for a part time job today, buddy. I'm locked into this. No idea what's going on. All right, we're turning this off. We appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. Right Press to select. So, um. Oh, shit, I can't even hear this. Let me see. Hang on. So this guy Dermot, he's an attorney. He comes up here and he uh, he comes up here just to disrupt, disrupt pretty much. Okay, that's what his argument today is that they want to um, come to this open this meeting. And open, they're supposed to be required to come in and they need to accommodate the group, but it's such a large group, they went into a room with 40 people. Well, he's pissed. They all drift all of a sudden all the And um I'm listening. Yeah, listen, okay. And he says, uh, you know, well, they sh they could just live, live stream this as they don't have the, can't accommodate the size group with the group, size of the rooms available here. They should live stream. Uh, he's also saying he needs a report number, all this stuff, because he's filing charges and he will, because he's going to force his citizens to arrest on them we're or not, not especially on this committee. That's what I told him, I'm not doing any of that. Okay. He said that uh, he would, um, so he's going to sue me. He's going to sue. Okay. Now you're probably going to be in it. Okay, good luck, yeah. All right, so the meeting's going on. It's upstairs, fourth floor, room for 49. Have okay. people in there. Are that's people. that's not my concern. We're not doing a report. All right, you want these people out of the lobby? Uh, the people in the lobby, um, these two have signed into the deal, but if they're not going to go up to the uh, if they're not going to go up to the room, yeah, out. Okay, Do you the, want, we want them off the property? And the other folks, yeah. Everybody? We'll have to, I guess we'll them off the property. I mean, we're fine. We'll get them off. All right, so we're, these people are getting off the property. Uh, they don't. They don't want to get off the property where, I mean, I say off the property, out of the parking lot too, or? Um, how about we just tell them if you're going to be disorderly, right. then you're going to jail. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, let's go figure this out. Yeah. All right. So who's here for this meeting? All of right. us. Everybody come outside and let's talk. So I don't have to say, don't, don't touch me. All right. I'm not being rude. I don't want to be touched. You 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 want me to touch you? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, if you want to pat me on the back, that's cool. You want me to touch you? Yeah. No, you don't. Okay, yeah, okay, let's calm. Let's calm down. It's all right. Calm down. I don't it's all right. Let's de-escalate. Let's, de let's de-escalate. I got touched, and I handled so it a lot better than you are. You made a... Hey, I, I. You want to call this? Like I got touched just a minute ago. I handled it a lot better than you did, sir. So, update video, obviously, from the OKC cop putting Ron in handcuffs, discovered a lot more outside of what we were there for than violating the Open Meetings Act, where they had, and 2,500, some, I don't know the exact number, I don't know, a lot, 2,000 plus people that were invited to this fire marshal meeting that they held in a room with an occupancy of 49, with no, no live stream, gonna try to fit 2,000 plus room people in a room that holds 49 when 20 of them are your employees. Cops, you can tell, really clearly don't care about our rights. You need any help? You're not doing nope. that? I need to file a complaint okay. against you for dereliction of duty then. All right. Take, I'll just take care of that. All right. We're okay, getting out of here. Number? If you need help, call us back. Do you have a report number? No. That's not no. Requested. You're not going to issue us a report? No. So that's dereliction right. of duty. You understand okay. that, right? Hey, prepare. You ready to go? All right. Let's go. That's fine. So here's what we'll do. We'll walk back to my car. When we get back to my car, we'll get some ideas. We'll just see if you see if you got any warrants. All right. Sound good? All right, make good cho make good choices. Follow me to my car. You're gonna sit in the back seat of my car. I'm gonna make sure you don't get any warrants. No, so what? Your chance to leave. I don't have.
Okay. I'm going to check you for warrants. You don't have the right to check me for warrants. Okay. You have reasonable articulation suspicion that I've committed a crime. <laughs> you do understand I'm an attorney, right? All right. Make, good, make good choices. You might want to check yourself. Okay. It's a little bit better than you do. Okay. Uh, okay. Have a good day. All right. You gonna walk away, or what are we gonna do? I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, we're gonna check, make sure you don't have any warrants. Come on. Okay. Don't worry, you stop the You got any ID on you? I do. You're next. Ah, uh, you're next as well. Why am I arrested for it? You're not arrested. I'm gonna make sure. See who you are. That you're uh, being right disrupted. Pocket. Right pocket. Where's your ID? Right 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 Left hand side, very top, right behind that blue card. Not very top. On the left hand side, very top, right behind that blue card. Not very top, not one more, no, 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 behind the blue debit card. I don't have any one of these. Uh, after I handcuff him, I'm gonna. Each one of you guys are gonna come over and sit in my car. We're gonna make sure you don't have any warrants. Okay. So uh, this is your chance to walk away, just like I hey, told this. Walk gentleman. further back. Walk further back. Uh, slide this way. Yes, sir. Stay right there. You're having a really bad day. I was having a pretty good day. I hope your body can Have a going. seat. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit. But. It's all right. Put your feet in the seat. Slide all the way over. There you go. All right. Good job. Right. They're having a fire, mar fire marshal's meeting, and people are upset because they can't get in because they're at capacity. That's what I figured. Yeah. I figured it's capacity. Yeah. All right. I don't have any. I was in jail on last Friday, so. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, that's a long process. Charlie 64, he's clear. Okay, thank you. Did you find him in the system? I did. He's got a driver's license and um, he had some stuff out in Tulsa County, but nothing. No current warrant. Tulsa County doesn't want him? No, he doesn't have anything. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Okay, Mr. Durbin. Hold on. All right. No one cares if you're sitting on the sidewalk, standing on the sidewalk, outside the building, not causing problems. All right, the minute you start causing problems, all right, that's when we're going to have an issue. Do so you, we're, do you we're just going to have stop? I'm talking. I'm, I'm listening. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I, I understand. Okay. I understand what you said. Okay. I don't agree. You don't. You don't with, have to. You don't have to agree. That's why. When no, you, hey, look, that's you've why done enough. Stop. That's why. You, listen to me. That's why you have a court date when you get arrested for disobeying a lawful order. Okay. Under, do you understand? Uh, no, I'm not, I understand listen to me. I'm not. I'm not going to play games. If I have games. to come out here and you're the one that's causing the biggest disturbance, you're the first one I'm going to come to, just like right now. All right? I'm not going to ask you again. You're just going to go straight to jail for being disorderly. Understand? I, that's fine. Okay. I you don't have position. to agree, but I'm I just telling you how it's going to happen. I understand your position. All right? So step out and turn around. And I suggest you tell your friends that are all standing around here the exact same thing. This is not a game. This is real life. Oh, no, you're right. It's not. All right. You lost your qualified immunity when you put your hands on me. So, okay.
Uh, I will see right. you in federal court. This was okay. a beautiful day for me. All right. You just made me a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. A lot of money. Okay. I give that money to charity, though, so it'll right. go to a good cause. Okay. All right. I'd like my phone back where I was. Uh, it's up there on the front of the car and your license. I didn't get a hug. But it was all live streaming, so that's awesome. Thanks for that. Well, hey, everybody. You just got there watching me have my favorite life fly away. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for All right. I think if we... If I was you, I would go. Oh, hell yeah. Or heck yeah. I, I can all have to figure out how to turn this on. All right. Just it's the it. new one. Well, it's the new one. It's you just have a new camera? Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to... It's a press select. So... In small batches. No, I haven't... I guess I didn't know you had to call. I'll call bacon, but... Yeah. All right. The trooper doesn't need us here. He'll call us. And we'll go figure out how to turn this on. Hey, Aaron. Hey, my camera won't turn off. You know, I go to hit the uh, select button. So I hit the middle button once. Hey guys, Josh with Gorilla Publishing. Thank you for watching our latest video. As always, we're out here trying to do the right thing, shed light on the corruption that is apparently everywhere from the OBNDD, the OMMA, the fire marshal, state police, Oklahoma City Police Department, uh, everything from them trying to turn off body cams when they shouldn't be, to giving us a big deal about getting the body cam footage, making us wait forever, uh, to the Open Meeting Act, which is crazy in itself because it affects thousands of farms and families and their livelihood in this state, which is what this all, that's what Ron's specialty. That's uh, something important to us. So as always, if you see something, say something. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for your support. Oh, folks, how we doing, man? What do you guys think? This is probably the third or fourth time I've watched these videos right now. And every time, I get more and more fucking agitated about it. Let's journey back to the first video with Cody High Roller. What the fuck is going on? This is, of all places, this happened in Texas. I thought Texas was, like, all about guns and shit. Like, what the, what? This was in Texas? Listen, these men were doing nothing unlawful. Nothing. They were approached by these fucking gelatinous, fat-ass, diabetic fucking pigs. And this man was fucking tased. He was assaulted. His shit was broken. He busted his head open on the fucking concrete for nothing. For no reason whatsoever. These gentlemen that were there should have opened fire on these motherfuckers. I would have supported it, I'd have backed them up, and I'd put money on their books. Now, that CJ Grisham, I followed that dude on something. I can't remember what platform though, because I'm constantly banned. Even from all the ones that are like, oh, we're all about freedom of speech, you can say what you want over here. Oh, really, motherfucker? Because I'm going to challenge that. I'm going to challenge that. Turns out, nah, nah, you can't just say what the fuck. Nah, nah, you can't do that. The second video. Tennessee Watchdog. This is this dude is undoubtedly one of my favorite channels. Like I said at the beginning, he's always popping up somewhere where shit is fucking going down. It's like he has a sixth sense about him. He's always there. He's always doing shit for the fucking greater good. I love this dude. I support this all three fucking channels for that matter. I love these fucking dudes. I support these dudes. Make sure you motherfuckers do too. Make sure you motherfuckers let them know that. The very last one, Gorilla Publishing. 
listen. Did you folks hear that piece of shit scumbag fucking officer? He's like, I can't turn my camera off. No, I can't turn my camera off because I'm the mayor of Retardville and I don't know how to press that button right there to turn my camera off. Did you motherfuckers know that a bill was just passed giving the United States authorization to spy on your shit without any type of search warrant whatsoever. These motherfuckers can tap your phones. They can spy into your life. They can see everything that you're fucking doing with no search warrant whatsoever. We have no freedom. We have no privacy. This is my argument. If you want to spy on the American people, the American people want to spy on your bitch ass too. That being said, if your bitch ass makes it into Congress or Senate or the House or the executive branch, the legislative branch, any form of government, all the way up to fucking Joe Biden's pederast ass, if you make it to that fucking level, you should be required to have two fucking body cams on you at all times, just in case one happens to malfunction. You should have two body cams on you at all times. Two microphones on you at all fucking time. Don't worry, we'll figure out a way to make that shit waterproof. Whether you're on the clock or not on the fucking clock, we the people have the right to know because you motherfuckers are the ones that can't be trusted, not us. You're supposed to represent us, you fucking pieces of shit. That's how I feel about that shit. I don't know, let me know if you agree with that. But look, if you've made it this far, you've made it all the way to the end. Again, very, very special thank you to those three channels, Cody Hyrule and Tennessee Watchdog and Gorilla Publishing. We love you motherfuckers over here. We got your back and support you motherfuckers over here. All the original links to these channels are in the description. Click on them. Go to their channels. Show these motherfuckers some love and tell them the same exact thing. We love them. We support them. And we got their back over this motherfucker for even more content you don't see on this channel. Join us at yes First MPGH Facebook group. My motherfucking dude Chris will keep you motherfuckers entertained with shit all day long. You do not see on this channel. I'd normally tell you, you can follow me on fucking X and Twitter. You can follow me on TikTok and Snapchat and all that shit. If you want to do that, us first MPGH, you can find me on all the fucking platforms. Although, I'm constantly banned from all the fucking platforms. So, thanks anyway, I guess. I don't know. But look, that all being said, just know, listen, man. Put your fucking drinks up in here. Put your blunts up in here. Your bowls up in here. Your fucking heroin fentanyl needles. I don't know what. The, put your fucking George Floyd Narcan up in here. Whatever it is that you motherfuckers have in your hand, put that shit up in here. And just know, no matter fucking what, man. Just know, you are important. You're cared for. You're valuable. And you are unbelievably appreciated. Especially in me. And if no one has told you folks yet today, just know I love you over this bitch. And I will see you motherfuckers Monday morning. Cheers, guys. Stay safe.